don't play with me, don't play with me. Bitch, don't play with me. I just want a freak ass bitch. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. And we're back on Box 29 News, where if you don't like the news report, we can pop. Right on 29th Street, you feel me? I beat the fuck right out of you, niggas. Fuck is wrong with your boy Chia and Maggie's in the back, back in the back, add the couple racks and all that. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking fucking news. We have YouTube monetization clauses. They said, nigga, you cuss a lot. Yeah, nigga, you got to, like, we, we let you cuss, nigga, but you... Yeah, nigga, you cuss, you cuss a little, nigga, you cuss a little too much, like, like this much, you too much, you be cussing. So if you want to advertise from the, from the people that be saying they want to give you all the, you got to stop all that cussing, so, I might not be cussing as much, I might be making some words up, you feel me, because I'm getting this mother loving me too much, you feel me? In other news, we have Mr. Chucky, stop playing. Y'all know I'm dyslexic. Y'all know I do not know what that last name say. Maude, Mod, Chucky Mod. That's what I'm going with, right? They are looking for the information for this young man's killer. It's a $50,000 reward out. I just want to let y'all know if y'all know who did it and y'all don't want to get caught, let me know. I need 50000 I ain't fucking around. Yeah, I don't even fuck with these young niggas like that. These young niggas that's killing shit, I don't fuck with none of them. You feel me? I'm not in the clubs with these niggas. I'm not in the pictures with these niggas. I'm not at no events with these niggas. I'm not doing none of that shit. I don't want to be clicked up with none of these niggas. You feel me? I'm not about to be in a picture. You think I chose a side? You think I fuck? No. You feel me? So, rest in peace to Chucky, you feel me? But if anybody got any information on Chucky's killer, let me know. I realize that at this old ass age, a nigga better not do a crime around me, you feel me? Please, if you don't want to go to jail, do not do no crimes around me. Yeah, I'm letting you know from the door, it was him. Yeah, I wasn't, no, no, I'm chilling. I did my time, motherfucker. I'm cool. I know what the fuck was. It was that nigga. Yeah, so if you know Chucky uh, M's killer, please let us know. We need 50,000. We definitely, definitely, definitely need 50 mother loving thousand. Fuck is wrong with you. In other news, we have Mr. Jared Armstrong. Before I play the video, I'm going to let y'all know Mr. Jared Armstrong is allegedly from Philadelphia. He moved to Israel to play basketball. Now, when I was a kid, this shit was cool as shit. Yeah, I'm going to go overseas. I'm going to play the NBA. I'm, gonna, I'm not doing none of that shit. No, I'm not doing none of it. You feel me? You got a better chance in Jesus than me flying over some water to put a ball in a basket. It's not happening. And this is the reason why. I'm going I'm to let y'all know. This is the exact reason why. It's a Jewish... Aliana and Nidia, that's right. This morning I spoke with Jared Armstrong. He's a professional basketball player in Israel. He's originally from Philadelphia. He spoke. First of all, if I'm from Philly, Israel a little too far. Yeah, Israel is a little too far. Let me be playing basketball. Continue. About the uncertainty he feels as he's watching this all unfold. Like the, the rocket landed right in front of him, can easily, you know, had to hit my apartment. My point exactly. You feel me? I only grew up in America, right? This is my, this is me. Never in the history of my life was I walking down the street and seeing a missile phew, flying over my head. I don't even know what a missile looked like in the air. You feel me? The kids in Israel actually know the procedure when the missile's in the air. Yeah, I don't think I want to go play basketball over there. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, I don't want to go play basketball. They got missile procedures. You feel me? Continue. You can hear the sirens in the cell phone video. See the rising smoke. Yeah, because they got missile procedures. If if a missile fly and hit Philadelphia, it's just gonna be a hole in Philadelphia. We don't know what to do. 
Them niggas gonna send an alert to niggas' phones. It's a hole in the city. We know. Yeah, we can see it. What is wrong with you? Ends in you. Jared Armstrong grew up near LaSalle in Philadelphia and is now a professional basketball player in Israel. He's now left his apartment in Ashkelon, a city roughly eight miles from the Gaza border. I have a, I have a few teammates that live north of Tel Aviv, and we uh, we had called him. like, hey, listen, there's a bunch of bombs going on, you know, and missiles, you know, close to my apartment. Because one had landed about 100 feet from where I stayed at. So I was like, man, I, I can't stay here. This is video. 100 feet. Oh, no, I'd have been on the next spirit flight, the next frontier flight. The ne nigga, you could have put me in a UPS box. I'm coming back home. You feel me? I'm Sandy Cheeks. Oh, 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 oh. You feel me? You could not be paying me. What they giving you, $65 billion? Nigga, did you win a championship? No, I'm just trying to figure out what you over there playing basketball for after 9 11. You know what? You know what's going on, so on nigga. What is wrong? In other news, we have this lady being detained by the police. Watch y'all. This lady strong as shit. First of all, this 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 police officer is a straight dork. You feel me? Straight dweeb. You feel me? This nigga got on OJ Simpson gloves. You, you're not arresting me, sir. There's no way Home Alone's arresting her. I'm looking through the car, y'all. All right, that's enough. The Philly. This is not a shout out to the Philadelphia Police Department today because they actually need more training. If I was a Philadelphia police officer right here, I'm tasing you. Watch this. Yeah, I'm shaking you up. Yeah, when I hit you with this yellow gun, you feel like, yeah, you gonna yeah, you can get from up under that car. Yeah, I can almost guarantee you can get from up under that car when I shake you up with this gun. Yeah, this yellow gun gonna have you shivering like a motherfucker. You feel me? You gonna be vibrating like a son. I swear to God, are you gonna be seriously hurt when I'm the when I'm done putting these ninety five thousand bolts in your motherfucking ass? I swear to God, that's what you gonna be. You is a crit. The police department gotta get step they training up. I would I would uh shut this situation down so quick. Yeah, get up now, miss. No. You, you go, man, she would have been a pork bacon out there, Jones. Burnt to a crisp. She would have got from up under that car. You feel me? I promise you, it would have been easy for me. This is why we need proper procedures and protocols for the police. Because they didn't kill Eddie Irizar. Now they scared to electrocute her. She'd been electric ill out this joint if that was me. Yeah, she'd have just been shaking. Yeah, I swear they'd be like she's stuck a fork in a toaster. Fuck is wrong with your kids? Please do not be like nobody on this show. This is not a show you want to make it to. It's actually the most insane show to make it to. This is Box 29 News Report. Like news report. <laughs> we got Box. Right on 29 Street, you feel me? I beat the fuck right out of you, niggas. Fuck is wrong with you? Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me, bitch. Don't play with me. I just want a freak ass bitch run.